Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha Hammonds. I'm a local realtor here in the Fort Hood, Central Texas. It's actually called Fort Cavazos now. I'm still not used to that um, area. And I wanna jump right into this video first. A little bit of housekeeping. This is not gonna be the highest quality video um, just due to we just moved. I'm in a really weird setup right now. We can't find our camera mics. I'm filming on my phone. I was gonna film on my DSLR with my camera mic because my phone mic, um, my little mobile mic that I plug in broke. So the whole thing, but there's a thousand excuses why I could delay making this video. I have been contemplating making this video for a very long time. Um, and also I have notes that I'm gonna be looking at to stay on track, but anyway, let's get back to it. Um, if you follow me for a while, you'll see that I have not actually posted since like almost a year, August of 2023. I just want to chat about where I've been, what I've been up to and just I guess my whole goal in this video is to just be transparent, um, especially with anyone else who may be struggling in real estate right now um, and talk through some things. So my first three years as an agent were really good. Like I was never a top producer in the sense that I never did like 50 deals a year. Shoot, I never even did 20 deals a year, um, but I was a capping agent. Um, I made six figures in 2022, um, nearly six figures in 2023, pretty darn close to six figures in 2021. Um, and in 2022, we bought our first house. And then we also bought our second house in 2020 or in 2022 as well. Um, my parents ended up moving with the, in with us. And so the house we're living in now, this is actually our first house. Um, we just moved back to our tenants moved out and we moved back in um, and we're selling our other house. But it's a whole thing. Like, as you can see, there's a lot of moving pieces in my life right now. Um, so we moved two times in that year from our first house to our second house. Um, after our, my parents moved in and we just needed more space. Um, my husband got out of the army in 2022 and there was just so many sh like changes and stress. And I really just got out of habit and got out of routine. I am a creature of habit. Um, I need routines. I need to know this is what I'm doing. Um, and that's how I've always thrived. But the past few years, or maybe the past year or so, I really got into my mind that I don't need routines. I can wake up whenever I want. I can work whenever I want. I can go to bed whenever I want. Um, I don't need to have a set routine for when I start school in the day. Like just let's be all free willy nilly. Um, and that did not work for me because I really do thrive on routines. I need them when I get out of routine. It takes me a very long time to get back in. Same with working out. Like if I work out for, I could work out for six months straight, but if I take three or four days off, it might take me three or four weeks to start again. Like that's how I need routines. Okay. Um, so I'm going to be totally honest. I also just got very complacent and lazy. I went through a period of time where I resented real estate, where I just wanted to be a stay at home mom, um, and not think about real estate. Now, keep in mind amongst all this, I was also struggling with a lot, a lot of anxiety, um, from April of 2022, um, or no of 2023 to, um, about September of 2023, I had, the worst anxiety that I've ever experienced in the 13 years that I've struggled with anxiety. Um, and I'm not gonna get into all the details in this video, but it was very, very bad. Um, anyway, so amongst all that, I, I was just stressed, I was anxious. Um, I didn't want to have to think about real estate all the time. If you are a real estate agent, you know that this is a 24 seven job. Even when you're off, you're never off because we are always thinking about the pending deals we have going on. What what if this falls apart? What if this happens? Um, I need to fix this issue or this fire needs to be put out. Or even if everything's going great, there's always that thought of, okay, when this is done, what, where's the next one coming from? It's just constantly, like there is no time off mentally, um, even if you take physical time off. And so I just, I wanted to stop thinking about real estate all the time. Um, and I went through a little bit of burnout. So I guess that's what it was, was burnout. Um, I think I do, I, I average 14 to 15 deals a year the past, you know, almost five years that I've been an agent. So again, I'm not doing like this extravagant amount of business, but it was enough. It was still a lot, right? Like if you're doing one deal a month, that's still a lot to think about. Um, and I think it actually was almost detrimental because when you're doing just enough, like, yes, I was making six figures, like I said, 
but I was making just enough to get by and have a little bit of extra where it felt really comfortable, but it was never enough to truly invest or put in savings. So it was just constantly chasing the next one because I couldn't let it dry up, right? Opposed to if you are doing four or five deals a month, if you have one or two that fall apart, you're not freaking out. Okay, that's a little bit off topic, but let me back into it. I actually had to repent, like truly, truly repent because I was so ungrateful and how dare I be so ungrateful and so discontented when God blessed me with the ability to gain clients, make a great income, homeschool my children, which is a huge passion of mine, um, take vacations, put food on the table, put a roof over our heads, um, all because it was hard and I just didn't want to do the work anymore. And I'm honestly a, a bit shameful to admit that or a bit ashamed to admit that because it's just such a selfish place. Like I came at it from a place of lack and then at the same time being selfish and I, I had to repent. Um, and I have repented of that and God made me a really good agent. Like I say that all the time and I'm not good at a lot of things, but he made me a good agent. So how dare I, um, I think of the parable of the talents, right? Where God gives the one talent and three talents and the five talents or whatever. Um, and the one with the one talent buries it. And he says, how, you know, how dare you? So now I'm gonna take this away from you and give it to the one that, you know, doubled the money. Um, or not the money, but doubled the talents. And of course the talents can be parables for money, can be parables for actual talents and abilities, like, you know, all the things. So I just, I feel like I was that, that farmer who just buried it, who squandered it and um, we didn't save like we were supposed to and we didn't invest like we should have um, and we didn't even save for taxes like we're on a payment plan with the IRS like there's a lot to um, like you make six figures over six figures and you feel like you're on top of the world um, and you're really not especially in this economy six figures is like middle class um, okay moving on so Essentially, I stopped doing all the things that I knew would make me an income. I stopped prospecting um, and I just hoped and prayed that referrals would fall in my lap. And for a while they did. Like God definitely sustained us um, and he definitely gave me a lot of business that I did not earn, right? Like it just came to me. Um, but I think there's definitely was a time when God was like, you got to get up and do something. I'm not just going to keep throwing things in your lap. Um, he's not a genie, right? Like he provides and obviously everything we've always needed, he's always provided. And so I'm thankful for that. Um, but at some point, you know, he has to discipline us just like we discipline our children. He has to discipline us. Um, and so naturally my pipeline dried up as of July, 2024, when I'm filming this right now, I've only closed four deals and two referrals. I sent out two referrals, um, because they were for my listings and I don't double in deals. So I sent out two referrals and I got paid on those. Um, and I have one pending right now, which I'm super grateful for. It's um, not gonna close for a couple months, but I am used to closing at least one a month, but usually close to that, you know, if you average it all out, like one and a half a month, whatever. Um, which for me in my market, the price point I'm at is, an, is enough to pay my bills and um, put food on the table and have a tiny bit extra. Now, of course we should have been better stewards with that extra, but at least one a month is like a need um, and then three or four a month would help us to be more in abundance. Um, so for me, 14 to 15 deals a year is a six figure income and I've only closed four as of July. So I'm not on, I'm not on target. I'm not on track, um, is what I'm saying here. Um, and I'm okay with 14 to 15 deals a year. My goal this year actually was 35. I'm at four. Who knows what God is going to do? I'm pulling out all the stops. I'm getting my butt back to work. Um, who knows if I will hit that 35 or not. I will be happy if I hit 15. Um, I'll be happy if I hit 12. Um, so I'm just going to let the Lord do. No, you cannot watch TV. <laughs> my son just slid a piece of paper under the door and asked if he can watch TV. Um, anyway, why am I back here? So me and my husband started brainstorming and we started thinking like, when did I start resenting real estate? When did I start losing my passion for helping clients? Um, and a big portion of that started when I stopped making content for other agents. My love language, one of them is giving and teaching. And I didn't know that. And I do now. Um, and I love to share things with other agents and I love to help people and I love to create content that is going to benefit other people. Um, 
And even from day one as an agent, I was making content. I just wanted to share my journey. Um, but I had that time where I just stopped creating content. And I think when I did that, when I stopped sharing with you guys, it's almost like I lost a little bit of accountability. And if I am going to share anything here on this public platform with other agents, I'm going to also need to be producing, right? Like I am not going to share a bunch of stuff that I don't have authority to speak on. And so it's almost like in my own mind, I have to prove that I have authority to speak on this topic, which means I have to get my butt out there and do what I'm teaching about or sharing or whatever. And, um, be able to share that with you guys because you don't take advice from someone you wouldn't want to trade places with, right? Like there's certain things in life that you just have to, you have to live it out before you can give advice to other people. Um, and that's one reason I'm back here. And another reason is because I love, love, love to share things. I love helping other people. And I know, and this has taken me a long time to overcome like imposter syndrome. I know what I know. I am not the most knowledgeable. Obviously, I, I like I said, I don't, I can't tell you how to sell a hundred houses a year because I haven't, but there's a lot that I do know. And I can tell you how to be a really good agent. Um, and on whatever scale that looks like. And I can share um, what it means to, um, what it means to be a good agent, how to manage work-life balance. Um, my next video is actually going to be all about my my new weekly schedule that I've come up with because I it's Wednesday and so far this week I have done really, really well about staying on track and um, really productive. Like I've been very productive and I just, I feel really good. Um, and so I'm gonna share that. Um, Anyway, all that to say, um, I am back because I want to share, I want to give back, I, I have a passion for it. And then for whatever reason, as I'm sharing, as I have a passion to share with other people, it comes back to me in a sense, like it makes me feel more productive. It makes me more accountable and it makes me want to go out and do the work that I know I need to do. Um, and right now there's a lot of agents blaming the market. And yes, this is a hard market. It is a hard market, but you know what? It is not the market's fault. It's really not. It's not the market's fault that I am behind on my goals. It's my fault. Like I said, I stopped working. I stopped wanting to work. I stopped doing the things I needed to do. I allowed myself to get so distracted by shiny objects and what other people are doing. Oh, maybe I need to do this kind of prospecting. Maybe I need to do this. Maybe I need to do this. Instead of just going back to the basics and doing what I need to do, what made my business grow in the first place. So it is not the market's fault. If we are not succeeding at the end of the day it is our fault because houses are selling every single day i have me and my husband also do real estate photography on the side now with the hopes that he will be able to quit his job and we have clients multiple clients they get multiple listing every month there's a couple that we work with who we probably do at least three to five photo shoots for them a month which means they're taking three to five listings a month which is really good actually um there is houses closing every single day you can look in your mls and see how many closed today or yesterday technically because it's not going to be accurate for today um you can go see how many houses are closing in your market someone is doing the business who's it going to be um and so that's it that's what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be focusing on a few things that have made my business grow um, there's a few things that I'm, I'm adding in, um, but not chasing the shiny objects. I'm going to be praying a whole lot, really relying on the Lord and just getting back to what I did in the beginning and focusing on these pillars of business that I know are going to help my business grow. And thank you for watching. I do hope you have a blessed and wonderful day. If you ever do have a referral to send to the Fort Cavazos, central Texas area, I'm about an hour, um, out north of Austin. Yeah, I think I'm about an hour north. I get really confused with north, south, east, west. I'm not gonna lie. GPS is my best friend. Um, I'm an hour from Austin and Waco. So I'm like right between Waco and Austin and I service this entire Fort Cavazos, Temple, Belton metro area. Anyway, if you ever need anyone in this area, I'd love to repay your referral fee and um, hopefully return the favor one day. So please let me know. I'll put all my information in the description box below. Connect with me on Instagram, however you want. Leave a comment, like, comment, subscribe, do all the things, and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.